you know, good teams, some good fronts. This Utah State team, you know, lots made about their their offense. They're running the ball up, but boy, they're they're not allowing a whole lot on defense. When you looked at them on tape and what they do defensively, what do they do? They seem like they're a pretty physical, tough unit there. Yeah, they have a it's really energetic defense. Um, a lot of high motor kind of guys. Um, they're going to play too. Um, and you know, it's a defense that you can't sit back and, and wait for a big play. You're probably going to have to grind out some long drives. Um, you saw people like take and put nine to six yard drive together. And, you know, that's what I think we're going to have to do with these guys. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be a, a big play sort of game. Sure. Right. Brian. What's it like for an offensive lineman when you are part of those long drives, you know, 10-plus plays, 80-plus yards or whatever? I mean, it, you know, look, that must be tiring, but is it, is it, is it kind of just adrenaline get going? As an offensive lineman, do you relish those opportunities to just drive it down someone's throat for five or six minutes or 10 or 12 plays? Yeah, I mean, it, it's really – it is rewarding to do those kind of plays. It takes a lot out of a defense and on the field for that amount of time. And, and you, we've done it a couple times here, and just the capitalizing uh, with the touchdown at the end of the drive, um, it's great. You know, it gives our defense time off the field that they need. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we don't really get tired. The coaches do a great job of conditioning us to get ready for drives like that because drives like that that win games. Right. You know, Coach Chris said Josh Leonard comes back this week. Uh, you know, you've had a pretty good rotation going out that, you know, to get another one back in the mix. You like where the rotation's going offensive line-wise, how you've been rotating guys in and even moving, you know, like uh, um, oh, uh, Magnuson to guard now a little bit, you know, Flashman to back up tackle. Do you like where kind of things are sitting now going after a bye week, going into this stretch of the season now? Yeah, uh, competition raises everyone's level of play. I mean, I've heard that in August, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's, it's the rotation has been good. Everyone who's been coming in has been uh, doing a good job um, when, time, when, time, when time comes to perform. So. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, so it's rotation has been good thing so far. All right, you mentioned it was a bye week, not an off week. So what was, what's a typical bye week like? I know you practiced three times. What was that like? What's a typical bye week like, I suppose? I know you didn't have one last year, so maybe you can't say what a typical one's like, but what was this bye week like for you guys? Um, you know, the bye week is you know, a good chance to look, look at the competition. We got to watch them on Friday against BYU, and we got to watch them on film before that in their previous games. And, I mean, you get the three practices and stuff, but the a lot of it's the mental preparation that, that aids the team going through a bye week. Mm-hmm. Did you do anything fun or relaxing in, in some of your off time in this bye week? Or, or is there really ever such a really, is, is there a time for any of that? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so, you know, I'm school and football, rinse and repeat. All right, sounds good. All right.